Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm Sandra Benson, and with me today I have Todd Hoke and Ansley Grogan, both from Atlantic Community Bank. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the bank. I know there's banks everywhere, but what makes your bank different? Well, we are a small community bank, and we uh, our concentration is on commercial, so our biggest goal uh, is to help small businesses in the community and to focus on customer service and making sure that all their needs are met. Okay, if uh, when you say small businesses and, and, and helping them grow their business, et cetera, does that, does that include possibly like small loans to those businesses, et cetera? Is that sort of your yeah. interest? We kind of define a small business as uh, companies with this small as $100,000 in sales and five employees to $20 million. So okay. it covers a wide range. Uh, and we can help them out with their cash management, uh, their cash flow, lending, um, deposit, investing. I mean, we've got a lot of different things that we can do, um, and especially now with the economy. Oh, um, yeah. We do a lot of consulting to help out our clients. How about like things like payroll services, things like that? Do you also, are you also able to do those, those type of um we Activities. are, and that falls under the cash management. Okay. Um, one great thing we have for our small businesses that I do know that no other banks are offering is we have a courier service. Oh. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a courier will actually come to your business, pick up your deposits, bring them back to me at the Hilton Head location, and we process it, and then we'll send the receipts to you the next wow. courier day. That's amazing. It is. It that's is. A, that's that's a really, really that's great for the clients. Well, especially the really small businesses where you might only have two or yeah, three people in a absolutely. building. I mean, we've had clients that say that without us, they'd have to actually shut down for the 30 minutes it would take to go to their bank. So wow. It's, wow. it's been a great service. That, that's, that, also, that is a great service. It also lets us bank companies that are a little bit farther away from our actual branches where most people want to be three to five miles from the branch, we can bank people farther out in Ridgeland and Estill and out So you'll go farther. that far to, to help people out? Oh, right? Definitely. Yeah. That's what a community bank's about. <laughs> Tell us about the locations. Okay. Well, our main location is in Sheridan Park in Bluffton. Okay. And um, that was the first location, and that is our full retail branch. Okay. And then a year after, it opened in 2006. In 2007, we opened the Hilton Head branch. Hilton Head is more commercial based. We are, I guess basically you would say we concentrate more on our commercial clients, um, but we also have full service personal as well. Right. So do you find that people just with individual banking are coming to you also? I mean, you don't necessarily have to have a small business in order oh, to come no. to Atlantic Community Bank. No, and that's been okay. the great thing too, because through the commercial clients, we, you know, we might start off wanting your business account, but then we also want you to bank with us personally. And then we want you to tell other people about us and it just spreads and spreads. And, but we have a, we have a large personal um, banking. So group. most of your, your, your clients are coming from word of mouth, is that? Correct? Yes. You don't do a lot of advertising, if I'm not mistaken. No. We haven't advertised in years. No. <laughs> we we, we kind of cut our advertising back a few years ago and realized that the best sales uh, was our people. Yeah. And we handpick our employees, um, So, and that, that was our biggest asset. So going out into the community, and uh, where we are a commercial-based bank, and we're relationship-based, it's our relationships that got us the business, and that's what gets us the next client. And right. when you're satisfied, you're going to tell the next person. And that's pretty much how we've grown the business from day one. Well, and even with the courier service, you're talking about a, a, a great customer service. You know, that's, that's, <clears throat> that in, in itself speaks, you know, speaks large of what you do. Well, and that is our main focus. You know, we, we, we want to be the bank that goes the extra mile, and we do it every day. Any, any little request is not too much for us to do. And I think, you know, the big bank men mentality where it is like more quantity versus quality, we don't think that way at all. Right. You know, with us, it is about the relationship. It's about gaining your trust. Um, you know, my clients, I know when they're going on vacation, I know when their grandkids are graduating right. from college. Uh, and, you know, we like that. And right. we, it helps us know what people need. And when you know what someone needs, you can provide better service. Absolutely. Banking's changed a lot from 2001 yeah. to current. Um, about 2007 mm -hmm. you, is when you took your foothold 
here, correct? Is that is that? Yeah, we uh, the bank was actually uh, originally started. It was a uh, uh, Brian Woods, or Bri I'm sorry, Brian Smith and Edgar Woods, who are two of our board members, and Robert Trask got together to talk about uh, the need for a Bluffton-based community bank headquartered. Um, decisions made there and that was when it started and then it took uh, a couple years uh, to get the ball rolling and get it through the process but we opened for business in January of 2006 and okay. you know, obviously the economy was going fabulous then. <laughs> yes, um, yes. But by the time 07 and 08 came around, I mean, when Not the, econ so much. Uh, the economy... Not so much. I guess that's uh, where the community bank is a little bit different. Atlantic Community Bank, we go out and we try to help our clients and yeah. we're, you know, business is not doing well right now right. and we go out and we consult with our clients and help them try to operate more efficiently and right. cut expenses and, and that's really important right now I, I know even myself as a small business owner that that extra that extra attention that you can provide for me that extra help mm -hmm. maybe the suggestion to put me into the right category whatever mm -hmm. um, of business I mean it's very important very important. Well, another thing too is our area. Hilton Head being a resort area, there it, it's a completely different ball game, and I think that's where we work better than some because we're all from this area. Right. We understand. You know the area exactly, and you know most of the people in the area, obviously. Right, and because we can make our own decisions, and we don't have that corporate background telling us what to do. We can focus on the fact that this is a different area and it has different needs. Right. And that makes all the difference in the world. It really does. Right. Well, Ansley, Todd, thank you so much for being with me today. And thank hopefully you. anyone that has any questions can just call the Atlanta Community Bank and they'll get somebody that's knowledgeable on the phone that can help <laughs> them with all their individual and commercial needs. So thank you again for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today on Talk of the Town.